Hi everyone, welcome back to my channel. It's getting cold here in New England. I'm Keisha with Country Garden Oasis. I'm in zone 6B and today what I want to do is clean out my planters that are right around the pool. These annuals did beautifully all season long. They were spectacular, but it's getting cold. Today it's supposed to rain. So I'm trying to clean up as much as I can. I'm actually going to move them from their current location because we had construction going on where they're normally at, but now that's done, I'm gonna move them over. So, let's talk about what we're gonna do. These are white planters, and if, if you've ever planted supertunias, the blooms, they hide their dead. Part of hiding their dead, when it's on the planter, you can't even see the planter, which is great while the season's on. But when I pull these, I'm gonna have a little bit of a mess. So I have my handy dandy power wash. So I'm gonna pull all the annuals, then I'm gonna power wash it, move it over, and pop my mums in the pot and then show you what that's gonna look like. I think this is gonna be fun. This is the first year I'm doing the switch over because we've been under construction for, God knows, we're not gonna talk about how long, but it's fun. Um, so let me get this started. I'm gonna go get a garbage bag actually so that I can throw all the flowers in. So I want to clean all of that off, the planters, because when I put the mums in, none of this is going to be covered. Alright, so it's a little bit more difficult than I thought. I can't just power wash it, so I got some reinforcement and get scrubbing. positioning the pot, especially a small one, because I have the drip hose hooked up. The plan is for us to hook it up to the main drip line because we're under construction. I haven't done that yet. So what I have are pot feet, these little tiny things, and I put them under the pot so that way it levels them out and then the drip. Now we're low. All right, I'm gonna go get the other ones. So now that I've gotten all my pots cleaned up, repositioned to their normal home, I'm gonna put the mums in. And like every other project that I've done around the yard, I'm not taking the mums out of the pots. There's really no major reason. It's not like they're coming back. It's a shorter season. They have enough food. I'm going to add more slow release fertilizer. So therefore, they'll have everything they need until they die in the winter. So let me go grab the mum and show you my setup. Color, 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 color. So I position them in the pots. These are the colors I'm going with. Yellow, red, this one's yellow and orange. And you may be wondering why am I doing red? when I have the yellow and orange going for the fall colors. My leaves are yellows, reds, oranges. But over here, take a look at my firelight and change Isn't she beautiful? She is stunning in red. So, why do I have a bucket? Because I'm not planting these in a pot. I'm just gonna move the soil just so these can be level and be all set. So I'm probably gonna get this spot dirty a little bit, but that's okay. 
Slow release fertilizer. This is something I'm doing for the first time this year because normally I put mums in and I water them sometimes. We all have our things. So I'm going to be a little bit more diligent and see if they will last a little longer. So I did this to my mums in the front and they look so beautiful. So I'm going to do with all the mums, whether they're in pots or I put them in the ground in their pots. As I told you, I'm cheating. I am not planting them. I'm leaving them in the existing pot so I can see how it does, how it progresses. So, yeah, put these in, add some slow release, and just water it in. I'm sure they already have food, but um, I just want to make sure. I get the holes or I'm just going to water them in. I took the holes off of the uh, power. So excuse me, clean them. Are they beautiful? I just wanted you to see how glorious they are. It gave me some fall color. It's so beautiful. I'm going to get the pan around so you can see it with the hydrangeas. There are the hydrangeas.